White ground technique is a style of white ancient Greek pottery and the painting in which figures appear on a white background. It developed in the region of Attica, dated to about 500 BC. It was especially associated with vases made for ritual and funerary use, if only because the painted surface was more fragile than in the other main techniques of black figure and red figure vase painting. Nevertheless, a wide range of subjects are depicted. Topic: <laughs> Technique and style. In white ground pottery, the vase is covered with a light or white slip of kaolinite. A similar slip had been used as carrier for vase paintings in the geometric and archaic periods. White ground vases were produced, for example, in Ionia, Laconia and on the Cycladic Islands. But only in Athens did it develop into a veritable separate style beside black figure and red figure vase painting. For that reason, the term white ground pottery or white ground vase painting is usually used in reference to the attic material only. The light slip was probably meant to make the vases appear more valuable, perhaps by eliciting associations with ivory or marble. However, in no case was a vessel's entire surface covered in white slip. It has also been conjectured that this form of painting emerged in order to emulate the more prestigious medium of wall painting, but the thesis has been elusive of proof. Furthermore, the group of five huge lekythoi c. 70 to 100 cm high are covered entirely in white slip, which suggests an imitation of marble lekythoi for funerary purposes. White ground vase painting often occurred in association with red figure vase painting. Especially typical of this are kylikes with a white ground interior and a red figure exterior image. White ground painting is less durable than black or red figure, which is why such vases were primarily used as votives and grave vessels. <laughs> Types The development of white ground vase painting took place parallel to that of the black and red figure styles. In the course of that development, five sub-styles can be noted Early use. The earliest surviving example of the technique is a fragmentary cantharos signed by the potter painter Nikos ca. 570 BC. It was found on the Athenian Acropolis Acropolis 611. The technique was used to create strobing bands of color that emphasize the shape of the vase, and is associated with the workshops of Andokides, Nikosthenes, and Syax. Type 1 The use of a white ground in conjunction with outline painting did not develop until some 50 years later, when black figure vase painting on white ground was probably introduced by the potter Nikosthenes around 530 525 BC. After a short interval, this technique was also adopted by other workshops, including that of Syax. The manner of painting is the same as in conventional black figure, the color of the grounding being the only difference. The ground is rarely pure white, but usually slightly yellowish or light beige. Type 2. A second form is monochrome silhouette drawing. Images are not created from reservation paint -free areas and painted internal detail as in red figure vase painting, but from drawn outlines and painted internal detail. This style is used since the end of the 6th century BC, especially on cups, alabastra and lekythoi. Initially, the outline of the figures is executed in the form of a relief line, but from about 500 BC, this is increasingly replaced by painted yellowish-brown lines. The so-called semi-outline technique is a combination of the first and the second technique, used only in the first half of the 5th century BC, virtually exclusively on lekythoi and alabastra. Type 3 in the first quarter of the 5th century, the workshop of the potter Euphronios develops a four-color painting style using a combination of shiny clay slip and mineral paints. The images are made up of outline drawings in shiny slip and colored areas in mineral paint. This style is used especially on picksides and cups. 
Some details, such as fruit, jewelry, weaponry or vessels are can be executed in clay slip in such a fashion as to attain a slight plasticity, additionally they may be gilded. The paints used are limited to tones of red and brown, yellow, white and black. Type 4. Early classical Lekathos painting combined shiny slip, mineral paints and non-ceramic mineral paints, this type developed in the second quarter of the 5th century BC. It was used in painting large grave Lekathoi used in funerary cult. The images are mostly constructed of colored areas. Pure outline drawing is only used for the depiction of male bodies at this stage. Female bodies are rendered in white paint, clothing in black shiny slip, mineral paints and occasionally non-ceramic paints such as cinnabarite or Egyptian blue. Many images depict scenes from women's life the gynikion. Grave images are rare. The most important representative of this style is the Achilles painter. Type 5 The fifth style was polychrome lekathos painting. It replaced early classical lekathos painting around the middle of the 5th century BC. By this time, white ground can be identified most closely with three principal shapes, the lekathos, the crater, and cups. Black shiny slip and white paint now disappeared from the paintings. Female bodies were again rendered as simple outline drawings. Non-ceramic mineral paints also ceased to be used. At the same time, several painters, starting with the Saborov painter, began to use red or blackish-gray matte paints, instead of shiny slip, for the contours. Only the contours are painted before firing, other paints are applied afterwards. Therefore, the durability of such vase paintings is very limited, many examples are badly preserved or completely worn. As a result, it is difficult to assess the depicted motifs. Grave scenes are predominant. <laughs> Painters and distribution Important classical white ground painters 5th century BC, in addition to the Achilles painter and Saborov painter, include the Sappho painter, Thanatos painter, bird painter, square painter, women painter, file painter, as well as several representatives of Group R Reed group, including its eponymous Reed painter. By the end of the century, some first attempts at shaded painting can be observed, influenced probably by contemporaneous panel painting. Notable in this regard is the group of the huge Lekathoi, specialized in decorating large grave vessels. During the second half of the 5th century, white ground vase painting was used nearly exclusively for grave Lekathoi. When that vase type went out of use around 400 BC, white ground vase painting also ceased. Later, during the Hellenistic period, various types of white ground pottery occur in several locations of the Greek world, sometimes painted monochrome, sometimes polychrome. They include Hadra vases, Canosa vases and vases of the century pay type. Laginoi were often decorated in white ground technique. <laughs> Notes. Topic. Bibliography Donna Kurtz, Athenian White Lekathoi. Patterns and Painters, Clarendon Press, Oxford 1975 Levesque, Pierre, The Birth of Greece. Abrams Discoveries. Series, New York, 1994, ISBN 978-0-810-92843-5 John Oakley, Picturing Death in Classical Athens. The Evidence of the White Lekathoi, Cambridge University Press, Cambridge 2004, ISBN 0-521-82016-2 E. Pottier, Etude sur les Lives Blancs Antiques, 1883. Schoda, Raymond V., Masterpieces of Greek Art, New York Graphic Society, Irma Wiegartner, Attisch Weissgrundig Keramik. 
Moltechniken, Werkstätten, Formen, Verwendung, von Zabern, Mainz 1983 Forschungen, Vol. 5, ISBN 3-8053-0565-6 Irma Wiegartner, Y. Grundige Vassen Malaray. In, Der Neue Pauli, Vol. 12, Coles 454–456. Woodford, Susan, An Introduction to Greek Art, New York, 1988 Von Bothmer, Dietrich Greek Vase Painting. New York, The Metropolitan Museum of Art. ISBN 0870990845 Topic Further Reading Kurtz, Donna C 1975 Athenian White Lekathoi Patterns and Painters Oxford Clarendon Press MacDonald Brian R 1981 the Emigration of Potters from Athens in the late 5th century BC and its effect on the Attic pottery industry. American Journal of Archaeology, 159 to 68. Mertens, Joan R. 1974. Attic white ground cups: a special class of vases. Metropolitan Museum Journal 9 to 91 minus 108. 2006. Attic White Ground, Potter and Painter. In the Colors of Clay, Special Techniques in Athenian Vases, 186–93. Oakley, John H. 2004. Picturing Death in Classical Athens, The Evidence of the White Lekathoi. Cambridge, UK, Cambridge University Press. Truett, Penelope, 1969. Attic White Ground Pyxis and File, ca. 450 BC. Boston Museum Bulletin, 72 92. Von Bothmer, Dietrich, 1972. Greek Vase Painting, an Introduction. The Metropolitan Museum of Art Bulletin 31, 1, 3 9.